And welcome back to KTN News Desk. Let's now have a look at the business where a giant French cement manufacturer has filled its slots on the board of the East African Portland cement company AAPCC. As the government reasserts its authority by reappointing Billet as chairman for the next three years. The move negates recommendations by a task force appointed by President Uhuru Kenyatta, which found that Portland Cement does not qualify as a state-owned company, and therefore government cannot appoint the chairman of the board. Lafarge owns 42% of Portland, while the National Treasury holds 25%, and the National Social Security Fund has a 27% stake. Now, the government has been citing the combined stake of 52% to declare the firm a parastatal, allowing it to power choose the chairman of the board. But the task force appointed that the shares owned by NSSF shares do not belong to the state but to the contributors, a recommendation that shifts power to appoint the chairman to the Lafarge. Now, the government, however, wants Lafarge to dilute its shareholding in Portland Cement because the company has a monopoly. Uh, monopolization stake the Kenyan industry is given its 59% in Bamburi cement which in turn owns 12.5% of Portland